What's up guys? Welcome to Transformation. My name is Patrick Blake Leeper and I was born without legs. I was destined to spend my life in a wheelchair, but with the right mindset and with sheer determination, I now hold eight Paralympic track and field medals. Not stopping there, I'm now on a quest to become the fastest man alive and to inspire others to overcome their own limitations. Today, I'm talking to legendary pianist Nicholas. Born with only one hand, he was told he would never succeed as a pianist. Now, Nicholas has graduated from the Royal College of Music, released a solo album, and played alongside Coldplay in the 2012 Paralympic Games. Welcome to Transformation. Nicholas, thanks so much for joining us today, man. I'm, I'm so excited. If you could, just just break it down for us and tell us what your childhood was like. So thank you so much for having me on the show. It's great to chat to you. Um, I think I had quite the idyllic childhood considering that I was born with only one hand. Um, and yeah, I had lovely supportive parents. And I remember there was this one moment where a neighbor said to my mum, oh, it'll be such a shame that Nicholas won't be able to ride a bike. <laughs> and. I overheard this conversation, that kind of spurred me on. I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to be the first to ride my bike out of all my friends. And ever since then, I've kind of had that passion. If someone tells me I can't do something, it absolutely means that I have to go and do it. <laughs> That's awesome. So did you feel like at any point of time um, that the fact that you was missing your hand, did it, did it ever hold you back in any certain areas of, of your life? Or was there something that kind of empowered you and, and more and allowed you to do more things. I don't think I don't think there was really an area that that I felt having one hand held me back in. I never really knew what I wanted to do. So it wasn't really till the age of fourteen that I found my true passion and and what I definitely wanted to do with my life. And can you describe that feeling that you got when you when you, when you felt that? And, and that's really the, the huge gift of life that I, I feel like when you kind of find out what you're what you're put on this earth to do. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were in school and I had a friend and she was a very, very accomplished pianist. And she got up on stage, big grand piano, all of us, you know, quiet, waiting for her, to, her performance. And she played Beethoven's Feldstein Sonata. It was about 10 minutes long. And I was just blown away like that for the entire like I was just stunned by the whole thing I was like that is what I want to do I want to become a concert pianist you know completely forgetting the fact that I only had one hand and you knew that of course you're going to hear the doubts and 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 the negative things from other other people what was the thing that you heard at first it was all positive and I think people were like great so one day I, I rang up the headmistress of this school to see if I could arrange an audition and I was greeted on the phone by this stern sounding, old school headmistress teacher, quite scary sounding. And she basically just shot me down in flames on the phone. It was probably one of the hardest conversations I've ever had because she hung up the phone on me. <laughs> and I felt my whole dream had been shattered in a two minute conversation. And then I was, so I didn't play the piano for a couple of weeks. And then I was walking home from school one day and I thought to myself, how many billions of people are in the world? I was allowing one single person who had never even seen me play to tell me that I wasn't able to achieve the dream that I had. And I thought, well, that's just being stupid, Nick. Come on, get to grips. So I decided to apply for a different music school and I played and I, I was offered a place. Yeah, and... and, and... Take us back, you know, and, and, and you say like you was denied. Some people think, oh, how mean that, that woman was to tell you that. But in all actuality, I see that as the blessing. I see that as the, the powerful point in your life to, to show how strong that you are. What was the mindset um, that you had? I used a lot of visualization. Looking back, I even remember visualizing myself on stage, big grand piano, cheering crowd, and, and that is what kind of propelled me to say, no, you're wrong. I am going to audition for a music school and I am going to get in and I am going to smash it out of the park. If I can see myself in my mind's eye being in 
a certain concert that I wanted or performing at the Paralympic closing ceremony, which I did in 2012. But I visualized myself being part of that. Yeah, I mean, and just to talk about that, you know, I was actually there at the Paralympic Games um, closing ceremonies, um, which was, was truly amazing. You know, Coldplay played and Jay-Z and, and Rihanna, and you, you know what I mean? You was on the stage as well. And, and for those who wasn't, you know, there, you know, don't know much about the Paralympic Games, and it was 85,000, right, people in the, in the stadium and, you know, supporting individuals with a disability, right? And here, here you are performing. Um, what was that like? Like, uh, what was that feeling? I need to ask you the same question. <laughs> I mean, it was my first concert after graduating the Royal College of Music. I think the whole thing was such an emotional thing for me, so I can only imagine what it must have been for the likes of you. I was shopping the other day, I was in the supermarket, and I heard Coldplay's Strawberry Swing, which is what I played with them. And it just made me go all shivery and slightly emotional. <laughs> I was only buying some bread. Well, and, and you know, something I'm interested about too, Nichols, and, and I'm sure people want to know, what's the mindset to keep that confidence, but staying humble at the same time, but to keep that, keep that confidence of saying, I am the best. What do you keep telling yourself to, to, to keep that moving, to keep that positive energy moving forward? I don't look at what someone else is doing, and I don't look at what other people are doing, because there's always going to be someone who's doing something better than you are, and something that you want to do. And always some, someone who is looking at you thinking that self same thing. So I find the best way for me is just to, to you know, congratulations to them and I'm focusing on what I'm, I'm doing. Right. Keep your eyes on, on, on the prize and, and I, I can relate to that so well, you know, for me missing both of my legs as a double blade runner, when I run my races, my block starts are horrible, right? And so guys just take off from me and it's hard for me, I gotta stay focused and yeah. focus on my lane because when I look to the left and look to the right and see that they're ahead of me, I stop running my race. So when I focus on me, that's when I can just blow past them towards the end. Before we close, and before we end, I just wanna know, what's your advice to, to anybody that's watching, young, old, short, tall, two hands, no legs, one hand, whatever, whoever it may be that's going through any challenge or any obstacle, what, what advice would you give to them to, to help them out just one more day? I would say just absolutely believe in yourself. So focus on your goal, whatever it is, whether it's a new job position, whether it's to become a Paralympian, a musician, whatever it is, focus on your goal and don't look side to side because sometimes there's people who are doing it quicker than you are or further along in their careers and that's fine, good for them. You focus on what you're doing and you will achieve your goals. That's what I would say and I wholeheartedly believe that. Awesome. Nicholas, thank you so much, man, for, you. for taking your time and sharing your story with me and to the fans and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. One thing that you can really take away from Nicholas' story is that Wherever you go in life, and whatever you're trying to do, disability or whatever you're experiencing, you're always gonna face negativity, right? You're always gonna have your doubters and your naysayers, but when you can grasp that concept of using that fuel and add it to the fire, that's when you can take it to the next level. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. We would love to hear your amazing story. So when you get a chance, please drop a comment for us down below. And don't forget to subscribe to hear some more inspiring stories every single week. Thank you so much for listening. This is Patrick Blake Leeper, and this is Transformation.